We're just leaving Magdalena Bay. Uh, we've been here for a handful of days, saw a few little towns and fishing villages, and had some fun. Uh, but uh, time to head south, moving to Cabo. And it's nice to have another place behind us. Off to the new one. With a light wind forecast, we plan to spend a few days at sea and arrive in Cabo just after sunrise. Brenda's working on getting the fishing gear going. She's a fishing machine. Yep. Picked up this big daddy in San Carlos. I think it's gonna catch us something. Looks pretty tasty. Purple. That's the hot color. Are you gonna use four eyes? No. Nope. I'm gonna use a blue one. I think he's lucky too. Four eyes wasn't very lucky. Could have been that there were no fish down there. That one's caught us a few fish. Yep. That's probably why he has bite marks in him. Boats moving, we're generally fishing. Not only does it keep us occupied and entertained while we're out at sea, it also keeps us fed. And with this being the last piece of fish in our freezer, we are anxious to catch some more. Sailing to Cabo, going south, and I hate to jinx us, but uh, this could be the best passage we've had so far. It's uh, about 15 knots directly on our stern, about six foot of swell, it's pretty gentle and comfortable. We're grilling up some fish for some tacos. And we got the fishing poles fishing. The sun's gonna go down in about an hour. It's beautiful out, nice and warm. Can't really ask for anything else, except we got two days to go. Guess we could ask to get there faster, but no real point in that, it's pretty nice out. This is day two on our passage down to Cabo. Uh, had a fairly decent night, I guess. So going a lot faster than we'd hoped, um, which puts us in Cabo in the middle of the night. So we've been trying to slow down a bit. So we've got the double reef in the main and a bit of the head sail rolled up, just trying to slow us down, but uh, we're still going a little too fast. Uh, but if we go any slower, Gets a bit rocky, uh, don't have enough power to kind of keep us stabilized through the waves, so uh, we'll figure out what to do once we get to Cabo. May enter at night and we may uh, just hang out outside and wait for morning. So who knows, we'll see when we get there. But uh, we got both fishing hand lined and the fishing pole going. Had a bit of a dry spell, no fish yet. Really no fish since uh, Abriojos, which was I guess a few hundred miles ago. Something like that, so a uh, bit of a dry spell. Brenda's lost her touch. Uh, we're about 30 miles off the coast uh, because there's supposed to be a pretty good fishing spot out here for, for Wahoo and something else, something big. Brenda wants to catch a big fish. So we're about 30 miles off the coast, uh, trying to get something big. No luck yet. Here we are, not a very exciting day today. No, we haven't caught any fish. Not a one. We did see a whale, some sharks, and a turtle though. Yep. That's pretty funny. But I haven't caught any. This is Brenda fishing hard. She's been staring at the lures all day long and haven't caught a thing. It's very depressing. She's fishing hard though, giving it all she's got. We made it to Cabo in the middle of the night 
but with a nearly full moon, we had no trouble anchoring in front of the city. Well, we made it to Cabo. It's loud, bumpy, and a little different than the places we've been lately. But it's pretty fun. Within the next 24 hours, our group of friends we've been cruising down the Baja coast with all made it to Cabo too. It was James and Golden Hind and Duke leading the way. Since we all made it to Cabo, we rounded up the troops for a night out to celebrate. sailing vessel Monkey Fist had met a guy while they were buying tomatoes who mentioned he had a restaurant across town. So with 18 of us in tow, we made our way across town and had one of the best meals we've had in quite a while. But the highlight of the night had to be trying to find our way home on a Mexican bus. We were in Cabo for nearly a week, and most mornings, well, they were spent in the water. Cabo is officially in the tropics, and with that comes water that is warm, clear, and loaded with brightly colored fish. With all the rock formations and steep drop-offs, Cabo had some of the best snorkeling we've seen in quite a while. And I don't care how many times Brenda pretends she's a shark, it's just never scary. While our days were spent in the water, our nights were spent scouring the streets for the best food. Street food in Mexico is cheap and pretty delicious. Oh, thanks Mike. Look at that. And although Brenda didn't really care for this corn in a cup, I thought it wasn't half bad, especially with a little hot sauce. Right on. Cheers Mike. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Thanks. Yeah. The mole. It's brown and it tastes good. A little fire in it? Yeah. 
Did you try it yet? Did you try it? <laughs> yeah, it's good. Really good. What I really love is the tacos. Well, we're going to be full after this with <laughs> For just a couple of bucks, you can get a plate full of tacos with some salsa that will melt your face off. That looks beautiful. I'm gonna eat this though. Mexico seems to have a parade for every occasion. This one had something to do with Christmas. And in most parades, the traffic doesn't bother stopping. <laughs> Brenda and our good friend Jenny from SV Full Monty. Well, they even got in a spa day. What are you going to do from? Uh, we sailed down from Seattle. After a week in Cabo, it was time for us to move on. So join us next time as we head north and work our way into the Sea of Cortez.